welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd keep it kind of casual. We're gonna have a little bit of fun and make some trendy wall art. I basically spent hours combing through websites like Urban Outfitters, Anthropology, and West Elm. And what I discovered is that there is a lot of just very easy to recreate artwork being sold on these websites that really anybody can DIY with a few very simple and affordable supplies. So I'm gonna actually show you, I think, five ideas on some really easy, trendy, and cute wall art. So let's start with DIY number one. So I saw a lot of art that is kind of like an abstract, color blocking, geometric shape sort of art, and I wanted to create my own version with customizable colors, which is like the key benefit of making your own wall art. So I'm actually gonna make my own version of this specific print I saw on Urban Outfitters, but going to make it so it matches in my bathroom. So let me show you how to do this one. For this art, you'll need three different shades of paint and whatever colors you choose. I decided to just stick with the white and dark purple and mix my own shades. So first I am painting the bottom third of the canvas with a darker shade of purple. And as I do this, I'm making sure not to paint all the way to the edge. I kind of wanted to leave a little border of the canvas around each of the color blocks that I make. Once two coats of that dark purple had dried completely, I got a lighter shade of purple and did the same thing to paint the remainder of the canvas. And again, making sure I leave a thin white border around the edge of the entire little block. And finally, I just took some white acrylic paint and started to paint the lines of a rainbow. And the original, the lines went all the way down to the bottom of the canvas. I decided to make mine more like a standalone rainbow. So my next two pieces of art, I wanted to create something that I could hang above my bed. I actually been wanting to hang two pieces of art above my headboard for the longest time, and I finally came up with a couple ideas. So let's start with the first one, which I was inspired by all of these sort of quotes and things that people are putting on their wall. So let me show you how I started with this first art print. You're going to need a set of two matching frames if you plan to make these a set of art prints. And to make my paper size, all I did was trace the back of the frame onto my paper and cut it out. I decided the quote I wanted was, don't quit your daydreams. So I first drew that on with pencil and then I went over it with a black marker. It's so easy, but I did find that I needed to go over the marker a couple times to darken the line to the thickness that I wanted. Now to go along with that, I wanted to follow along with some of these pictures that you see on the screen. It's kind of like a color blocked landscape with different layers of colors that go together. And I wanted to create my own. I thought these were really pretty and looked very simple because all you're really gonna need is some glue and some scrapbook paper. So let's jump into this one. To make this landscape color blocked art, I started with the base paper, along with multiple shades of complementary colors of scrapbook paper. And you may notice my nails and my shirt change. I actually filmed this part of the video on a completely different day. First up, I decided to use this peachy tone for the sky or the background of my landscape. So using my base paper, I just traced that on there to know where to cut out. And in order to save paper, I just trimmed a little bit off too. That way I'm not wasting a whole bunch of scrapbook paper. To attach it, I painted some Mod Podge onto the back. You could use any type of glue, a glue stick, double-sided tape, whatever you want, and then just attach that to the paper. 
Now, I just repeated those steps in order to create this sort of mountainous scene. And instead of cutting a solid line, I cut kind of a jagged rough edge to make mountains and just kept layering the different shades of paper on top of each other until I achieved the mountain look that I wanted. And finally, I glued a small little crescent moon down on top because I just felt that complemented a bedroom theme, which is where I'm putting these prints. Now, I think by far the trendiest type of art that has been popping up everywhere lately is that single line art where somebody draws a figure of a person normally a woman of like her face or her body and i think it's really cool it's very elegant it really makes a statement but it retains a minimal simple look and i wanted to try my hand at this myself and i'll show you a way to do it that doesn't require you to just gracefully draw one single line permanently on the paper. Basically, the secret is you draw it with the pencil first. So let me show you this DIY. This DIY is so easy. All you're going to need is a pencil to first sketch out the figure that you want, and I just followed this example photo as I did it. This helps you to get the perfect figure without it being permanent and a single line. And then to achieve, of course, the real single line effect, I just used a Sharpie marker and traced over my line drawing, trying to make it look as much as a single line as I possibly could. And finally, just don't forget to erase all of your pencil lines. Finally, I wanted to create something that was a little bit dimensional, a little bit more fun, and as I think we all know, macrame has really made a comeback. And I came up with a kind of a creative idea using a frame I had on hand and some macrame cord. So let me show you my first attempt ever at macrame, and hopefully you can recreate from this tutorial too. I'm starting out with a small wooden frame and some macrame string. Then I'm going to use a lark's head knot to attach to the top of the frame. Once I attached six strings to the top, it's time to begin macrameing. So taking the first group of strings and what you do to make a square knot is you create a four shape with the left piece, then take the piece on the right, cross it over that bottom of the four, around the back of the two middle strings, and then out through the loop of the four, and then just pull the knot until it's tight. I did a square knot across the top of each of my groups to kind of attach them together. And then as you're making a square knot, after you complete the one, you will need to do another square knot. This will lock it into place and you just follow the same steps. And basically, I just sporadically did some square knots all throughout this macrame piece to kind of create this little flowery looking shape. That's kind of how I describe it. I think it turned out really cute. And if you need some more help, if this tutorial isn't in depth enough, I will link you to a better tutorial explaining how to do a square knot. But I found this to be very, very simple. When I was done with all the knotting, I just took some scissors and cut the ends off and I was going to try to fray them, but it didn't really work with the string. So I just left the ends as is. Maybe not the cutest thing, but oh well, it gets the job done. So those were my five trendy wall art ideas for this video. I have done one other wall art video before. I will link a card up above and in the description if you want to go check that one out. And I plan on doing a lot more trendy wall art videos in the future. 
because I have a lot of wall space and also I think I'm gonna be moving soon so I'm gonna have a whole new canvas to decorate which is very exciting. Anyway if you enjoyed this video want to see me do some more wall art videos in the future give this a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you can see every time I post. And that's all I have for you in this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!